Unfortunately, though, when you play football in the SEC, your personal goals really are nowhere near the top ten things that are that are important. Uh, personally, I'm really happy for Gus for all the things he's overcome. Personally, I'm really happy for Justin to be a true freshman and come in and play in your SEC opener and score a touchdown in your first game. But that's that really doesn't mean much right now. I mean, shoot, I yeah, personally ecstatic for Gus. Seven catches, did everything he could to help us. In the grander scheme of things, I didn't. I was up until 4:30 in the morning sitting on my porch because we came up two points short. You know, I, I'm like everybody else. You know, I, I signed out with Coach Mullen to, to try and bring an SEC West championship. You know, so it, it stings. You know? sure. <laughs> uh, but, you know, again, that's the, that's the coach of me. Just plain old Scott Salak. Couldn't be happier for, for Gus. Couldn't be happier for Justin. What allowed Justin to get onto the field as a, as a true freshman and then not only get on the field but produce? Uh, his, his performance during camp. You know, it was a position where you graduated, graduated two seniors. You had a, the backup Gus had been, unfortunately for him, injury prone his first two and a half years on campus. Uh, you know, Darian came in junior college where they didn't get a spring, spring opportunity to showcase himself. Uh, so the, the door was wide open. And, uh, you know, it was a move that he wanted to make to try and contribute early. And he got some opportunities and, and he proved his value to, to me, to, to Coach Eversey, to Coach Gonzalez, to Coach Mullen, to the offense and defense that he deserved an opportunity to get out there. And, you know, Coach Mullen's proved over time, if you deserve the opportunity, you're going to get it. And he got it, and shoot for him. You know, couldn't have worked that any better. Shoot, his first college football play, they threw a pass. His fourth <laughs> college football play, go touchdown. <laughs> it's not going to get much better. Uh, you know, I mean, he, he earned it, just like anybody else who steps out on the field. They, they earn it. You know, there, there's a lot of great football players down in that locker room. That, that's why they play in the SEC. That's why they play at Mississippi State. The ones that get out there ultimately earn it through performance. Everybody wants to, but he earned it. So that's what it, That's why he's out there, and hopefully he'll continue to earn more and more reps as the season as the season goes on and help us win a lot more games. How much of his background coming where he came from in high school would kind of accelerate? I, I'm sure it helped him. I mean, it, you know, a program like Hoover, they they played a couple big games in their in their history, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you know, so it, it helped them, but I mean, I, it's some big games they played. I'm sure he hasn't played in front of 65,000 screaming fans, primetime ESPN against a, a top 12, 14, 15, whatever they were, program in the country. You know, they, you, know he, you have to, I have to prepare him a little different than I would Malcolm Johnson. Uh, before that game, I, we met on that Monday and I said, you know, you're going to play in front of a crowd that's twice as big and probably four times as loud. And his eyes, like a true freshman would, went up like silver dollars. I believe his direct quote was, what? <laughs> now I explained to him it was going to take 10 or 15 minutes to get through the dog walk. That that sidewalk's going to be about as wide as that <clears throat> chair. You know, so it, I have to remind myself, because again, I, I was spoiled by Malcolm. He is a special and unique individual. Justin's been in college for a month. I gotta remind myself sometimes that he's. I think he could be that, but he's Justin Johnson, true freshman, learning a new position. Nice. Just, oh, go ahead. You talk about him being a young guy, and obviously Gus has been around for a while. They got different skill sets as well. What are sort of the differences in how you use them and how you go about including them? I try to do my best to protect Justin right now, because you, you don't want to give him the full. He has to know the full playbook, but you try and limit what he really has got to do. Because uh, the worst thing you can do is put a guy out there who's not ready to perform at that level. Uh, you ask any athlete, women's soccer player, baseball player, track and field athlete, but it, once you lose your confidence, it, it's starving dogs to the meat wagon. Watch out, you're, you're in trouble. Uh, so you try and taper it down a little bit for him, but it ultimately is the backup to Gus. You can't, you can't, but you try to make sure that he's in situations that he's confident in. Uh, and, you know, I, sometimes in meetings I spend a little more time explaining stuff than I used to. Uh, 
just because, it, again, he, he's played two college football games. And as great a program as Hoover is, it's a little different than the Southeastern Conference. A uh, couple of touchdowns in the first game from your tight end group, and of course Gus gets seven, eight catches on Saturday and things. Has it been a focus to, to go through the, the tight end position a little bit? Is that just how the games have worked it, it, out? It, in the past game, you know, everybody wants to say, hey, you need to target this player this many times and this player this many times and this player this many times. Uh, the reality of it is the defense is telling Dak where to throw the ball. And you know what? Fred Ross is a great football player. Deronia Wilson is a great football player. So a lot of people have been concentrating on them. That's given the tight end some opportunities to try and help the team be successful. They've taken advantage of their opportunities. I don't know how the rest of the year will shake out, but through two games, uh, when the defense has put it to Dak to, to throw the ball to tight ends, they've produced. Uh, and that's all I can ask from them, because who knows? There's no guarantees who's getting the ball unless you're turning around and handing it to somebody. <laughs> you know, in the past game, you just don't know who's... You think you know, but... You know, until it actually plays out, defense tells Dak where to throw the ball.